Hey guys, welcome back to another reaction video. I'm your host, Gus Love Tacos. Um, today we're going to be reacting to Samson, What About Us. He actually just released a song, I just saw it pop up on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, let's just hop right into it. I'm sure it's going to be a great song. Uh, the guy's a lyrical genius, he's a very good lyricist, period. Alright, let's get into it. Don't tread on me. Those are words that I stand by, homie. It doesn't mean I'm gangster. It doesn't mean I'm country. It means that my life is in my hands only. I don't have money for security. I don't have armed guards that I keep snug around me. You don't think I deserve protection like you do, and that means you don't give a fuck about me. Gated right. community. Can we just talk about that for a second? You know, all these politicians think that we don't need any protection, but it doesn't apply to them, does it? I mean, do you see any politicians out without security? without people guarding them? No, because it doesn't happen. But they expect us to just walk the streets without any protection knowing what's out there. You know, if you have any, any lick of common sense then you know what's out there. Uh, a lot of illegal guns, you know, people with knives, crazy people, people who are just up to no good. Politicians don't care though, it's all about control. That's what you live in. Hatred and mutiny, that's what we live in. So come down here and hang with us for a minute. See if you leave with the same fucking opinion. Who's gonna help me out if I get robbed? What if somebody were to beat up my mother? Who's gonna be there to save our lives? You? No, me, motherfucker. I'm the only one that's got my back. It's dog eat dogs. These are not no cats. There's cops in Michigan that can't even respond to the calls because the cars ain't got no gas. Great. Police don't have any fuel. You don't know if they'll arrive when you call them. The babies are starving. My girlfriend can't find a tampon, and yet somehow you and I are the problem. Somehow. I've never bought a gun without having my background scanned and approved. The only loophole I've Yeah, isn't that such, such the funniest thing, guys? Like, there's all these people out there who seem to be under the impression that you can just go out and buy a pistol, you know, a firearm, and they're not going to ID you. They don't care who you are. There's no serial numbers on these guns. Like, people actually think this. Like, these people exist. Like, imagine. <laughs> on a gun is the one that you put a fucking lanyard through it's not true that you can go to the store and just swipe your card and get a glock and run it's funny the people that say that shit have literally never even shot one facts hey matthew mcconaughey shut the fuck up just because you murdered people on screen doesn't mean you know shit about guns you dumb fuck what you worried about us what about all of those violent movies that you played how about you go talk to alec baldwin before you start telling me what to do okay <laughs> valdi i was horrified by it that that's horrible advice. Do not talk to Alec Baldwin for any gun advice. At your hometown, you were born right by it. It probably cuts deep, and I hope that it does, because you work in an industry that glorifies violence. It's more your fault than it will ever be mine. The Lord only knows how many crimes that you've influenced throughout your whole career, because I've seen you kill people plenty of times. Yep. What do you think is going to cause a shooting? A YouTube video of a gun review? Or a Hollywood murder scene that seems so realistic it looks like it's from the news? So next time that you want to point your finger with a stupid opinion and chime in with it, remember, it ain't me that they're trying to be like, dog. It's you that they're trying to mimic. So, you know, the one thing I could say about Samson, um, his messages always get straight to the point. You know, he attacks a lot of messages in his, in his music, and I enjoy it. Um, he reminds me of, of course, Tom McDonald, um, Upchurch, like t the typical people who are against this type of stuff. You know, people who actually stick up for Americans. You know, your everyday Americans. You know... I know Tom McDonald, I think he's actually Canadian, but he's more American than probably 90% of the people I know when I lived in Las Vegas. So, I mean, that should tell you a lot. I feel way more safe in a place where the people are legally armed. If something happens like a mass shooting, I have a way less chance of being lethally harmed. A criminal is going to think twice if he knows everybody is a piece underneath their clothes. And Mayor Lightfoot will probably tell you different, but uh, have you seen Chicago? And no, before you ask, I don't want to be like Canada either. And I don't want to be like Australia. I'm sick of everybody using them as a humanity meter. There's a reason that they can do whatever they want to their citizens, like fucking throw them in camp. And there's a reason that our government doesn't even try that shit because they know that they can't. If you don't think for one split second that if we didn't have our second amendment the You know, and that's another truth right there, guys. I feel that, like, if they could throw us in camps as a whole, you know, anybody who who goes against them, I feel like they would. I know China does that. Um, you know, North Korea. 
Um, obviously, he just showed a picture, and I'm assuming Australia does the same thing, you know. They can't do that here in the States. At least they can't do that and get away with it. The government wouldn't overstep its boundaries and make us do shit even when we're against it. You're out of your mind. I don't give a damn where you stand or how or what you vote. That's dandy and fine if you trust Uncle Sam, but I for one fucking don't. And why would I? What have they done? Give me a reason for me to believe them. They want to trade me a little security in exchange for a big ass piece of my freedom. They don't want to take away guns because they care about you and they want to keep you safe at night. They want to take away guns because it's easy to control people if they don't have any way to fight. Hey, boy, what's your little AR-15 going to do with the government coming? To take it. Well, Ukraine started handing out rifles to all of the citizens when the Russians invaded. So what about that? I thought it wouldn't help. I guarantee that it'd be better than nothing. I hope it never does. 100% guys, you know, you're an American, right? Somebody invades this country and let's say you don't own a firearm. Would you have preferred the government would have passed them out so you did? Or would you have just preferred if you had your own? Like, obviously, this anybody having a firearm for anybody invading our lands is a setback. Because that's an opposition they're going to have to deal with. And that's an opposition nobody wants to have to deal with. Because it's a civilian with a firearm. And nobody wants to be involved with that. But if the day comes, I bet that you're going to wish that you had something. This is the only country on earth where the people have real strength. And nowadays, with all the shit going on, it's the only thing that makes me feel safe. If there's anything that I've learned in the past couple years looking back at the pandemic. All of the shit that we have is fragile. And it can snap at any second. Fuck all of the politicians. I don't trust anything they say. Take the word gun out of gun control and that's all that it is at the end of the day. I don't give a fuck how crazy you think that I look or I sound when I say this shit, but our second amendment's the only thing that stands between us and a dictatorship. Yep. 100%. And as for the kids, I'm not a security expert, so I won't act like one. But I think that if we can send over 50 billion dollars to Ukraine, we could surely spend that much or more or less here in our own country to fortify our schools and make them more secure so that every kid can get an education safe and sound. 100% and let me speak on that for a moment. The 50 billion, 50 billion sent to Ukraine. You know, our taxes are going up. They want more and more taxes. You know, they need our taxes so bad. If they need our taxes so bad, why are they sending them to other countries? It's not like they're going to get it back. It's $50 billion. You know what we could do in America with that? Um, we could 100% address homelessness. We could 100% address, you know, schools, um, classrooms, stuff they need. Um, our U.S. vets, our veterans could 100% use that. I guarantee it. But who am I? Place several trained armed guards in every school across America. You know, real men who won't stand by for 45 minutes in the hallway while a shooting unfolds in front of yep. their own eyes. Um, that what he's just referenced, you know, is there was a police officer, I believe it was in Uval, Texas, who was waiting, like he heard the gunshots going on in the school, and they got him on, on a video camera texting, I think it was... Uh, his sergeant or whatever, and they were telling him to stay back. Um, his wife and child were in that school. Imagine that for a second. You have a firearm, you are a police officer, your wife and child are in that school and there is someone shooting at, potentially at them. Um, from my understanding, I may be off on this, but I believe it was his wife that was actually killed um, from the shooting. The whole thing's a terrible tragedy. Um, you know, I guess as a police officer, you know, you're not required to um, rush in and stop a shooter in a school. Um, but that also speaks on someone's character a lot, you know. Um, if I was a police officer, I'm not. But if I was, in my heart, there is no way, no way in the hell I'm staying back and waiting for backup. Will I get fired? Probably. But will I save someone's life? Yeah. You don't know until you try. And pay them well, too. There's veterans that need the work. Why not protect our kids the same way that we protect you? Politicians are protected by guns. Celebrities are protected by guns. Every important person that walks this earth is protected by a gun. Facts. But our kids? 
They're important. Just not as much as you. so that was another great song by Samson um what about us uh thank you Samson for speaking out man I appreciate it I'm sure a lot of us appreciate it you know there's a lot of people out there who could speak out who have a platform who choose not to um if you're not familiar with Samson please head over there and subscribe to this guy he makes a lot of music and honestly his subscriber base doesn't doesn't support what he should be at my personal opinion, the guy should have blown up a lot by now, and he's just not where he deserves to be. Um, but with that being said, uh, if you guys liked my reaction, you enjoyed what I had to say, please feel free to like and subscribe. I totally appreciate it. I think I just hit 130 subscribers. Thank you everyone kindly who took the time out of their day to hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you have any recommendations, leave it below. I will 100% check it out. I have a list of like 20 songs right now. And generally, every song I upload is a recommendation from you guys. Except this one. I just saw it go live, and of course I had to hop on it. Uh, with that being said, have a beautiful night, guys. Peace.